Hello, I'm Mr. Chabry, and last time we did some battles, but I, um, failed to check the audio settings, so the audio kind of isn't the greatest. But this time we fixed the audio setting, um, we got the moves on the size or that I meant to give it, and now we're going to do some more battles. So, we got the same team, as I said, the only difference is size or is has the moves that I originally want it to have, but none of these like crappy moves that it, I've accidentally left there. Single battle. Are we in a new battle? Like a new battle series? Is that what it is? Why well, I had to re reset everything and download the rules or something? I will find out whenever it shows the... Yep. So it's reset everything, but that's okay, because we only did two battles anyway. We'll just pick a song. We'll go with Elite Four. We'll use the Elite Four music. So, here we go. Searching for an opposing trainer. We're going to fight Saka. So let's see what team he's got. Uh, he's got a Dragon Knight, Lucario, Garchomp. Got a Mammoth Swine, a Mimikyu, and a Ninetales. So, what are we going to do? <clears throat> we need a Fairy type. Fairy type would be good. Yeah, Sizer would actually be really good here, too. So, I'm going to lead off with. Who should I lead off with? So, I'm thinking. I'm going to actually lead off with Tapu Koko. And I think Sizor would be really good to bring. And Okay, should I bring Typhlosion or my own Mimikyu? I'm going to go ahead and bring Mimikyu. Alright. So we're ready. Tapu Koko... Mega Sizor and Mimikyu. Let's see who he brings. <clears throat> Pretty important to bring some fairies. Especially against this guy who has two dragons. Okay, what, what do I think is the biggest threat? Um, Lucario could really hurt my fairies, especially Mimikyu. Um, He's leading off with Dragonite. Hmm. Alright, so we have the advantage. So, I'm going to set up the Electric Surge, and I'm just going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. <clears throat> Probably the best thing to go for right now. Dragonite. He's going to switch. Um, switch into Mimikyu. That's actually... That's that's okay. We're going to break this um, break this disguise. So now we can actually do some damage onto the Mimikyu. All right. So Mimikyu is busted. Go ahead and Thunderbolt now. Thunderbolt probably the best thing to do since we've got the electric terrain up. Tapu Koko has got stab on it. It's really powerful. Uh, he's got a Focus Sash. What's he going to do? Play rough. Let's see how much that does. Tapu Koko is going to live that, yeah. Tapu Koko lived it. I'm going to actually Volt Switch. I think it would be good to Volt Switch so I can... Oh. Shadow Sneak. Yeah. Oh, we got Crit too. Alright, let's see what we can do. I'm going to go into Sizor then. It wouldn't have mattered because that Shadow Sneak would have... I, I mean, did that critical hit matter? Probably didn't. Tapu Koko is pretty low health there. Alright, so what we're going to do is Mega Evolve and go for the Bullet Punch. We need to save our own Mimikyu because we need that Fairy type move.
All right, everything's shaking. Who's going to go for Shadow Sneak? I'm not going to do that much. And Bullet Punch. And this will, of course, going. This is, of course, going to take out the Mimikyu. Mimikyu's down. We lost our Tapu Koko, but we still have our Mimikyu. So that Dragon Knight will still not be that big of a problem. Right now it could be a problem if it has like flamethrower or fire blast. We're just going to go for a bullet punch. Try to get as much damage as we can. Chance he could have ex Well, he can't have extreme speed right now because that's you can only get that in Goto. Fire punch. Okay. It's going to hurt. That, that hurt. Alright, so Mimikyu is our last Pokemon. The electricity has disappeared. <clears throat> we need... Alright, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Mimikyu? Are we faster than Dragonite? Um... Sure. We have to... I'm gonna go for the Swords Dance. We, uh, yeah, set up some. Raise Mimikyu's attack. Yeah, Mimikyu's faster too, so... Next turn we're going to fire off. Play rough. We're going to take an Earthquake. We still have our Disguise up. Alright, so now we can go for the play rough, and that's going to do quite a bit. The only problem is if he has that Garchomp, there's a, I think Garchomp's like faster than Mimikyu. Garchomp could do a lot of damage. Alright, play rough, this should take out the Dragonite, yep. There goes the Dragonite. Now let's see his last Pokemon. Lucario, okay, so actually things aren't looking good for us. Lucario could hit us with a bullet punch, possibly, and metal claw. Anything. It'll do a lot of damage. So play rough, probably go for a play rough, maybe. Yeah. Uh I don't think we we've got this one. I think Lucario is going to take out Mimikyu for what we do. Bullet punch. Alright, let's see how much this does. Yep. Mimikyu's gone. Well, we put up a fight. That's all I could say, we put up a fight. We actually had full reign of all of our Pokemon. I actually made sure I had the moves that I needed on. <clears throat> so we lost the first match, but that's okay. We'll have another match. Okay. Yeah, continue battling. Alright, let us change the music. I guess the Battle Royale. We'll do Battle Royale music. That's what we'll do. Um, who are we going to face? Good question. Hope we have a better chance this time. Alright, so it's someone named Chiba. See what he has. Tapu Lele, um, Garchomp, Darina, Gyarados, Mimikyu again, and Porygon 2. So, I, right now I see Porygon 2 has probably got Trick Room. Um, Tapu Lele is going to be a problem, especially if we send out um, Scizor. Because <coughs> Bullet Punch shenanigans. All right, who are we going to send out first? All right, I think first. Pretty sure he's probably going to lead off with Porygon. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Typhlosion. Awesome. And uh, 
I'm going to have Ezor there. And... Who should I bring in? Mimikyu? Or Tapu Koko? Garchomp, if it's Toy Scarf, Tapu Koko is going down. I'm going to go ahead and bring Tapu Koko. I'll go ahead and bring Tapu Koko. Alright. <clears throat> Let us see what we've got going for us. I'm sure he's probably leading off with Porygon 2, possibly Tapu Lele. That's what I, my two guesses of his lead. <clears throat> Let's see. Archomp, so that's actually the worst possible thing that he could have led off with. Hmm. So, what are we going to do? If we switch, we're going to take a lot of damage. Going for Earthquake, there's no doubt about that. Um, these are... I mean, we could switch into Caesar. I mean... Got... Well, oh, his defense isn't that quick. Hmm. Yeah, we have to switch into Caesar. We have roofs we can heal up. <clears throat> Alright, so when you switch into Caesar. Going to go for poison jab. That's perfect. That is a perfect first turn. So we don't take any damage at all. We're just going to go for X Scizor. X Scissor. Ah. Caesar has got my tongue all tied. Alright, we're going to go for the X Scissor. Um, if he switches into Tapu Lele, he's going to take an X Scissor to the face. He's probably expecting the Bullet Punch, but we're not going for... Oh, he's going Porygon, too. Alright, so we're going to just download what's that going to do. It raises Special Attack. Raises the, the attack stat opposite of what your better attack stat is, I think. We're going to go ahead and Mega Evolve. <clears throat> go for X Scissor. Porygon 2 is bulk. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, so the thing is, he's going to set up Trick Room. I'm pretty sure of it. But we just have to stay in and go with x or again. That Trick Room is going to be set up no matter what we do. Unless we get a crit. Yep, Trick Room. So... The problem is Typhlosion has a Choice Scarf, so now he's going to be going... Um, he's going to be so going last. And Tapu Koko is already fast, so... Uh, yeah. Caesar is probably my best hope, because Caesar is slower. This thing's got Recover. Oh, things aren't looking good. We can just keep... Um, x Caesaring till he... Goes until he loses the the trick room. So he's going for another recover. Those two recovers so far. I have three more turns until trick room resets. Then we'll just go for a U turn. Thunderbolt. So now he's going to go for some damage. Oh, that actually did quite a bit. Oh, critical hit! Yes! Okay. <clears throat> That's good. That's very good. We got rid of that problem. Right, I'm going to have to roost up with my Caesar. Probably my best bet. What's he going into? Garchomp. Garchomp going. Okay, so what we're going to do is roost, heal up, and then we're going to U-turn. Ezor, please take a hit, whatever he does. Oh, we're faster, because Trick Room is still up. Yeah, that's good. Let's see what he's got. Earthquake. Yeah, I'm not going to do that much. 
a little more than I thought, actually. All right, the dimensions have um, turned back to normal. So what we can do now? What can we do now? I mean, we could U-turn, go into Tapu Koko. Unless he's Choice Garf. Would he be Choice Garf? Would it be better? Will it? Um. Yeah, we're going to U-turn. U-turn. We're going to go second in this turn because he's faster. We're gonna go for earthquake. If we don't get hit with a crit. We'll be fine. All right, Caesar is still alive. We're going to do U-turn. Probably going to take some damage from rough skin. Yep. These are still in the game. So now we're going to switch. We're going to go into Tapu Koko, go for Dazzling Gleam, and take out... Actually... Let me check something. 7, 147. He's got the Choice Scarf. Is there a chance that Garchomp has a... We're going, we gotta go Tapu Koko. Yeah, Tapu Koko. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Alright, so now we're going to set up the Electric Surge, and we're going for Dazzling Gleam. Alright. So, oh, he's faster. He's got a choice star. Tapu Koko's going down. There's nothing we could do about that. <clears throat> so... Need to get me a Garchomp. That's what I see now. I see the error of my way. Alright, so... Let's go for Eruption. It doesn't matter, because it won't speed us. Azor is going to go down no matter what. Yeah. We've lost this one. I mean, we, we can't go for Roos. He's not going to take an Earthquake. Even if we Bullet Punch, we're going to be going down. Maybe next time we'll have a better chance of battling. Garchomp is just too good. It really is. Alright, so... Yeah, today we didn't do so good, but maybe tomorrow we're going to do better. So, um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next live battle video.